Obviously, this is going to be a very close game. Uh, the semi-finals generally tend to uh, only go a couple of points. We've been here a few times before, and uh, I think it's going to come down to the wire today. Oh, nice little looking to bring in players from all sorts of angles. There, Stevenson there, just pushing forward. Nottingham. Yeah, the better you are, I'm sure that you know the Premiership teams come and pick your players. That's uh, that's the way it goes, unfortunately. I suppose it is. Well, here we go. Oh, Dorian, first chance of points. Straight through the uprights, and uh, you'd have to say Bedford have deserved that, certainly, haven't they, for that penalty. Ball kicks out yeah! loose. Referee J.B. Doyle has given the penalty. So, yeah. Yeah. Mentally, in the pack, if you're getting knocked back, and the referee... You know, it plays on the ref's uh, mind as well, obviously. He sees a dominant pack. <laughs> He's back in the frame, old ball, isn't he? Now, and the Nottingham boys not rolling away. And this is uh, having just uh, scored three points. They all say <laughs> fight all the next couple of minutes, don't concede. But uh, and, uh, you can hear the crowd. That's a great kick. Cries of yes, Milo. He's done well there. That's what you want from your 10, isn't it? All the work you put in as a forward and then uh, get the penalty and get the three points. Yeah, definitely. He's very cool under pressure, Milo. He's very relaxed and um, he's done a great job there. So here we go. Joe Duffy to throw in. Nottingham to secure the ball there. And they've gone up. Truck and trailer, is that it? Yeah, I think Breaking so. Breaking it off. Cool. <laughs> It's one of those difficult ones there, isn't it? It's due compete. Has someone been brought in? It's a, it's a sort of bit of grey area around that uh, that law. But from Nottingham, but uh, we'll take it, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. And here we are with Miles Dorian. Two from two so far. This one a bit further out, but he struck him nicely so far. And he looks like he's got, he got the legs on that. That's a great yeah. kick there. That's going to be a big... Uh, Coming up to half time now, six points in the lead. A bit of territory. It's a good kick there. Well, that. Uh, well gathered in. Right, so. And oh, it's a bit, that's unlucky there. But it's grubbed through. Or just found it. It's been charged down, and Nottingham with a chance here. All he needs to do is get control of it. Has he got the gas? Oh, and Nottingham have scored. There we were saying, just before half term. A charge half time, a charge down by James Ulridge, really against the run of play. The pressure on the kick, and um, you know that's why you chase kicks to try and pick those off. And uh, great work by the Nottingham 10, and great skill to control it over the line. Yeah, Ulridge there chased his own kick hard, and the old poor old uh, for Bedford. If this goes over. Which it has puts Nottingham into a 10 9 lead right before the break off that kick there. And a chance here, Nottingham in the sunshine. It is wet on the, uh, on the outfield, but the sun is shining. Nottingham looking to go wide early. Ah, oh, charge down again. Now we've got Bedford a chance here, the hack through for Burke. Oh, we've got uh, Atkinson coming through. If he can gather the ball, <laughs> and it's a yes. try there under the post. So Great all has been cancelled out. Big smiles on the face of Sasha Harding here, the Bedford flanker. And uh, justice, I think you'd, uh, you'd probably say, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. Rugby's a funny game like that. You know, you can swing one way, then the next. Um. Atkinson did really, really well there as we watch. Miles Dorian add the simple kick. So Bedford straight back into it. Anyway, back to the game. And a little knock on there from Nottingham. So Bedford have the advantage. And a little high tackle there. Shouts of oh from the crowd. And then take the uh, last breath of air in. Steps up, struck it nicely. And there we go. You can hear the yes, Milo, from the, the that crowd. Sounds, that sounds like James Pritchard. You can uh, tell that Aussie accent from anywhere. <laughs> I think he's out there uh, near the camera somewhere. A club skipper. Passionate as ever. Bedford uh, inching their way forward. Looking now, going to the backs. Atkinson's had a great game. Ransom's Don't in a bit of space. Why. He's got a gap. Great and he's through the gap. And that was superb play from Bedford.
thoroughly deserved. They went through the phases, kept ploughing away, kept their nerve, and Ben Ransom, the man to yeah, benefit from being, that. The youngster's been uh, great for us this season, you know, great talent, uh, but, you know, that was a team try, you know, really controlled the ball, lots of phases, forwards working really hard, and um, when we saw the space wide, we got it there, and, and uh, you know, if you want anyone out there, it's Rano with his feet and pace, and uh, he's, he's taking it well. Yeah, you see there the gap opening up. You can't give that sort of space to a man like Ben Ransom. You say he's only young, I think he was in the... Uh, England under 20 World Cup was it last year or the year before? We just watch Miles Dorian kick the ball straight through the posts. And uh, Sasha, I'll give you the honour reading out a few of the tweets there we've received. Okay, from uh, Annie Bowden uh, Nottingham need to be patient, build phases, and stop trying to force the game. Uh, Bedford have good D, but that won't break it down. Hashtag RFU Champ Live. The one man advantage. The power comes on, and again, and oh, he's not oh, on. Always a penalty try, given the yes. uh, real power there from Nottingham. Bedford with a man down. Nottingham given the penalty, went for the scrum, put the power on, and then he did uh, knock it on and going over the line. But Bedford uh, stuck a hand in or something like that illegally. And JP Doll was running to the post for a penalty try. Talk us through this one. Yeah, it's um, tough there on the on the Blues, but uh, great work from Nottingham. Um, you know, it's heart disheartening for us to uh, concede points that low on in the game. But um, yeah, well done to Nottingham for sticking in there and uh, a great game. And there it is, as you say, the final whistle is gone. Bedford do win 26-17, so take the advantage into the second leg, but twice. Nottingham has scored right at the dying uh, moments of, the f of each half. And here we are with uh, man of the match, Miles Dorian. Um, great day, wasn't it? It was. Well, the sun's shining now, but uh, well, the heavens opened earlier on. But yeah, we got through the game with a yeah, convincing win. It was good. I said it was going to be really tight. Everyone was saying it was going to be tight here and there. Ended up by the, uh, the last uh, score at the end not being as tight as we thought. But we, we, we know Nottingham uh, are an excellent team. They've showed what they've done all through the championship this year and uh, they've been formidable finishing second. And um, yeah, we just wanted to, we wanted to take our game plan into, into this game and, and, um, and we just had to make sure our defence was solid and it uh, stuck up today. Yeah. So the defence was there, um, charged down right at the first, uh, end of the first half for Nottingham's score and then uh, that penalty try with one man down at the end. It was a big effort by the boys' defence as well. It was a very big effort, yeah. We've, we've worked hard on our defence the last couple of weeks at... Uh, um, since we've had the three three games in one week, we've, we've really tightened up and um, we're starting to play some good football in attack as well. Yeah, interesting. And of course, you kicking uh, off the tee went well to start with. Obviously, points to start early on, and then you got the backs involved later. Yeah, we, we want yeah try and try and build a little bit of a lead, and uh, yeah, and then we started to play a little bit more. But yeah, it all worked out well, and hopefully, we can bring a bit the same next week. Friday night. That's it. Of course, it is only the first leg, isn't it? It's only half done, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly 50 50 percent of the time. Yeah, we've got to we've got to take this now and uh, bring it into, into Friday night. Yeah. Of course, semi-finals, you've been uh, to a couple of semi-finals, Bedford. Uh, just makes you want to get a little bit more now, doesn't it? It does. I think the boys are digging deep. There's a, there's a good bunch of lads in there at the moment, and, uh, and we're all working hard for each other. And as you said, we've been here a couple of times and not really made, made the, sec the next step. So we're, we're, we're working hard this week. This well, one. Great win for you guys. And you were man of the match. Thank you very so we much. Have. A bottle of champagne for you. Congratulations. Lovely. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers, Miles. All the best. Joining us now is the man in charge. Mike, congratulations. Spoke to you before the game and um, that couldn't have turned out much better, really. Well, possibly could have. We could have done without that the <laughs> score at the end, but you've got to give credit to Nottingham. They stuck, at, stuck their task and um, yeah, they got their uh, reward at the end. But, uh, yeah, the irony, eh? Two charge down tries with two of the best attacking teams in the league. But uh, I suppose that's what happens in uh, semi-final rugby. As there, you mentioned that try at the end. How big do you think that's going to be? Well, we'll never know until the second leg. But look, uh, nothing's changed for us. We want to win two games of rugby, and we've done the, done the first bit, and we want to go to Nottingham and win as well. So, um, yeah, that don't change. Um, it's not our it's not our you know makeup to go go to Nottingham and shut up shop. So, you know, we'll stick to do what we we do well, and hopefully that'll be good enough to get us through the final. But it's a long way to go. It was always ever going to be half time at this stage, and um, it's a huge amount to play for. It's going to be an interesting Friday evening. I see it is a Friday evening. Always uh, going to be a good atmosphere down at Meadow Lane as well. So you played there at the start of the season, um, or during the season, and they came here and nearly beat you. So 
to beat them quite so convincingly today, how much sort of a confidence boost is that? Well, look, I thought you know we were in control for a long part of that game, but they, they just showed what a dangerous side they are. You know, they they've had probably four opportunities and they've taken all of them, and that's 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 a sign of a good side. So. Um, you know, I'm sure they'll be banking on a little bit more ball next week in good positions and, and to impose themselves attackingly. So, again, you know, it's a big week for us defensively. Um, but as much as anything, our best form of defence is our attack. So, uh, you know, we've got to work hard on our set piece and uh, make sure that's right for next week. And I guess it's a balancing act uh, how hard you push the guys and how much you give them a little bit of time off. Ah, not really. I mean, um, you know, we'll recover now and tomorrow and uh, have the bank all day off and then come in Tuesday and uh, Thursday night. So um, it's just about ticking over at this stage. The boys are in pretty good nick uh, fitness-wise. So um, just a question of organisation and keeping them, uh, keeping them ticking over. Well, congratulations and best of luck for Friday night. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers. Mike. All the best. So there we have it, Bedford take in a nine-point advantage to the second leg next Friday, of course, live on the RFU at Meadow Lane. 26-17 the score to Bedford over Nottingham. It's been a great first leg, hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you on Friday night.